Hi, um, I wanted, I'm going to do another minute of moaning. I liked it yesterday. Um, I liked moaning for a thing in particular. Um, and I liked moaning with you in mind. Um, I'm not a social media person. Like I don't have my own personal social media anything. Um, and until I started this grief house project, I had never posted to Instagram. Um, I, I don't even really watch, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm like outside of the social media river. It's a river that has somehow bypassed me. Um, but now I am posting for the grief house on Instagram, like four times a week and making these videos. And, um, I'd always heard that people felt like they had community, like, my partner watches a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of um, building videos, and that seems like a place where people feel real community. And I, I was always sort of curious about that, but I didn't totally understand it because I'm so physical. It just feel, felt like, but how? Um, but now I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it's like kind of like this because there's like 140 people who have subscribed, or like 43 people who have subscribed to this channel, of whom I think I know two. In, in life and um, and it feels and yet it feels even though I don't know you it feels really different making this with with you kind of like sitting inside my chest you know like it feels different and I like it so today I'm gonna moan do a minute of moaning for all the times I um, didn't make a sound for fear of being ugly. Because that's another thing that I've discovered since embarking on this social media journey is with that first minute of moaning is that um, uh, I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm old and I feel like in my life now, I rarely think about whether I am going to be perceived as attractive um, or are, uh, yeah, that doesn't come into play very often when I'm deciding how I want to be in the world. Um, but I, I was sort of knocked back a bit by how those comments were so focused on, um, were so outraged by my, that people seemed outraged by my not being sexy, you know, like how there was, there was sort of this undertone of like, how dare you make, how dare you moan in a way that isn't sexy. Um, and it, I, it startled me and made me think about how often that has been a factor in how I decide to do things. Uh, in my youth, in my youth. Um, cause it felt scary to not be attractive. And I think that's, that's caught up in the way power is structured in our, in our, in our world these days. Um, and we could talk about that at length another time, but I wonder if it's true for you. I wonder if you've not made sounds because you feared, um, you feared, you feared being ugly or, or because you were worried you'd look weak, or I don't know, because you worried that you would be unattractive. <sighs> for me, I feel just sad for those parts of me that were, that are good and real, and um, on which I sort of turned my back, because um, I felt I had to, um, and I'd like to uh, turn my face toward them and, um, and, and sort of let them know I, I'm, I'm ready for them now. And, uh, if you want to also, you could join me in a minute of mourning for all the parts we've, or I, I've, we've, um, turned away from because they seemed like they might not be pretty. And you don't have to be pretty. Let's not be pretty for this morning. This isn't, this is for you, but it isn't, 
a performance for you. This is me for you. Okay. And begin. That was over a minute. There are so many parts. Okay, well, I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here. Let's let's uh maybe do it again tomorrow.